The rule of thirds is a compositional guide that's used in photography, video, and art. Let me show you what I'm talking about in a couple of these photos. I'm going to dissect this photo into thirds horizontally and vertically. And that's not very even, but you get the idea. You want to place your focal point in one of these four intersecting, uh, where the lines intersect. So actually what I was looking at that I really liked were these three trees together, and then some of these trees going off to the side. I would put them right there when I do my drawing. I'm not gonna just sit there and uh, copy it exactly like it is. This makes it so much more interesting. It makes you rest in the picture. And here's another photo that we're going to divide into thirds. Let's do it horizontally. And let's do it vertically. Let's see if I can get a straighter line this time. Okay, so our center of interest is this little red cover on this boat. We don't have to use it that way, but we could put the boat, move it over just a little bit and use it there. As you can see up here, we don't have anything, but that's not a problem because if this center of interest rests in the right spot, you'll like the composition. And so if you don't have a computer or a Cintiq to do this, there's another way to use your rule of thirds. I have this wonderful little piece of wet media acetate. I don't know if you can see it, but I hope you can. It's clear and I'm going to lay this across my photograph and I'm going to take a dry eraser, um, excuse me, a dry marker, we'll erase later, and I'm going to dissect this into thirds again. So let's come down here and down here and I'm eyeballing this. Some of you will want to get in there with a ruler, but I just like to eyeball it. If it's close, it's good. And look, our center of interest falls right into the rule of thirds. This is a good photo. Now, let me show you one that's not a good photo. Obviously, you can see that this does not work. We've got this little guy right here in the center, and this falls below, and it just is a mess. Do I get rid of it? No. Let's go back to our corners. So here's our center of interest. Now you know how to use your corners and this wet media acetate is wonderful.